Look at you. That's incredible. Wow. Oh my gosh. Nice to see you, sir. You too, guys. My name is Jeannie Freeman, and I am Burton Littman's wife. February 20th was traveling from Florida to Oregon, had a layover in Denver, and uh, never made my flight from Denver to Oregon. I remember everything about that day. I remember landing in Denver. I remember calling my wife. It was a, I made it to Denver, no problem, plenty of time, walking to my gate. I'll give you a call when I get home to Oregon, I love you. And that's sort of where my memory stops, for a few days actually. My name is Arthur Pliaconis, I'm a paramedic with Denver Health Paramedic Division. I was with my partner Bob Gardner and we were stationed on an ambulance um, at the airport. Charlie Roberts was dispatched to Bravo 83 for an unconscious person and found the patient on the ground with bystanders starting to do CPR, a cardiac arrest that was going to require a lot more hands. Denver Fire sent their crews over there, uh, Denver Police responded, airport operations responded, and of course they sent the ambulance. It was like, what? <laughs> what is going on? What are you talking about? A heart that can be defibrillated usually has enough energy to, to hopefully get a pulse back. So we were doing a pulse check and someone said that they had a pulse. And we saw signs that he was breathing on his own and we were going to get him transported to the hospital where they can do what they did. Whoever had done CPR knew exactly what they were doing um, because he was alive and he was responsive. Next thing I remember is coming out of bypass surgery. And I even asked Jeannie whether this was a dream. What the doctor did tell me is the artery that was 95% clogged is the one that they call the widow maker. I feel extremely lucky to be here. I have never had a hint of uh, any kind of heart condition. You know, we really wanted to call and thank you guys because so thank God, you. I would have never made it without you guys. If not my life, they saved me because without getting things under control rapidly, uh, who knows what kind of brain damage there might have been. I've never yeah, had yeah. this opportunity to meet a survivor of cardiac arrest. I'm feeling very good. Literally a heartfelt thank you <laughs> for all that they did and for bringing me to this point. The thanks is not necessary at all, but just them reaching out allows us to reach out back to them. We have a picture of the whole crew of us together and I'm going to blow it up and we're going to put that in with the family photos. They get to be part of it now too. We all do this business and this profession because of compassion and empathy and this is really nice to be able to see. I think they're top of the line. Those guys are really good. Thank you for, this man is, has been the joy in my life and thank you for bringing my joy back to me.